Wait, what? Oh, shit. It's already February 11th. We only have three days. <sighs> now what, Haruki? Ah. Uh, the fuck? <sighs> Damn, where's Sessina at? Did she really not return home for like three days or something like that? What the fuck? Where am I? What the fuck? Where am I? What the fuck? Hey, what day was that? Was that February 2nd? No, February 4th. I don't remember what was the last day. Alright, let's keep going. Screw it. We just need to know today's February 11th. So it's three days until the Valentine's concert. It's あ、6時前かな。新聞取りに出てきたお父さんに開けてもらって。で、ささなはなぜ I arrived at the Okuzo household last night. It was already past 10. Since she hadn't returned her, past her curfew or told her family her location, I explained the whole situation concerning her daughter. The daughter to her family asked for their help. Her father furrowed his eyebrows while her mother seemed thankful for my doing so. <laughs> Damn, she ran away from home for like. What the hell? Oh shit. Remember he's a hero? <laughs> So. I mean, I'll be honest, Sessin is a grown ass woman. So. Whatever happens, it's pretty much her fault. It's her decisions. Don't say Tomodachi no yeni but she's still innocent as fuck. True. But. I mean, come on, man. Look how she's been for the past three years. Yeah. She basically didn't grow up at all for the past three years. Alright, she's been stuck. And it's all hard to keep on. So we gotta take responsibility. Mudadearukotogasaiono <laughs> that come up with so far as this. With the Valentine concert coming up with this Monday, Take Io and I decided to sign up for it as a bit of a mean prank. Since it had been a while since she last sang, and the fact that the event took place on her birthday, our designated vocalist vehemently refused to play along with our selfish demand upon being informed. Following that, our attempts to convince her into agreeing only ended up spoiling her mood even more, and finally she bolted off on her own. And finally, since we couldn't get in touch with her, I got word and started looking for her, and decided to pay Ogusa household a visit. Take responsibility by marriage? Marriage is, uh, I don't know about that. Yeah, I'm sorry. 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 I'm well, not crazy. I shouldn't say that. Sessin is depressed. We gotta help her. Kitahara-san, その。That story was a lie. 
I bet the parents probably know the real reason. But they just take that story in face value because... I mean, that's all they can take, right? They can't really get the truth from Haruki. Oh, maybe they are taking the story in face value. Maybe that's how much they trust Hanaki. But the mom is a little bit more sharper. Compared to her other family members, I don't know about the dad. Because the mom knew about Cessna crying every night. Yeah, after that broadcast, we rushed to the broadcasting room and all the staff present apologized to us to an embarrassing extent. They promised to give up on the plan for the live performance as well as to apologize to Cessna personally. It's just that when we told them that participating in the event was our own idea to begin with, everyone present seemed utterly disappointed. It made me realize that they were truly looking forward to Cessna singing that song. At the very same trickster who fooled us had them at the mercy of her whim as well. それって手段と目的を取り違えてません。は。は。だって私にとっては小木曽節の中せることこそが目的そのものなんだし。な、何言ってんの。私のしたいことは小木曽節の苦しめること。徹底的に貶めること。って言ってますが。いい加減にしろ
楽しみにしてますねなあ柳原さん最後にもう一つだけ教えてくれ何ですか本当に君は刹那が嫌いなだけなのかうん嫌いそれは一面的にはそうだと思うけどさちょっとくらい好きだったり気に入ったりとかしてないか本当は Damn. Got her. だから刹那のこと歯がゆく思ってるんじゃないのか自分の理想とかけ離れてる今の刹那がやっぱりね彼女まだあなたの影響を受けてたんだどういう意味小木曽さんもね私に歩み寄ろうとしてたちょっとだけ嫌いじゃなくなりかけてたのにとか話し合ってみようって思ってたのにとかさ That is Haruki fault. You know, she didn't even want to go to the broadcasting room. But Haruki was like, you know what? You should go talk to her. Tomo's your only friend. Go talk to Tomo. She's not wrong. Sasuna is under Haruki influence still. <laughs> そんな風にさあなたの言うこと盲目的に信じちゃうからいっつも傷ついてるんだよね彼女それはうん俺のせいだな何とかしないとって思ってる<笑>ほんと彼氏も彼女もどっちもどうしようもないんだからフッフッフッフッ天野さんのお宅ですか私、北条大学附属学園同窓会幹事の北原と申します。なおさんはご在宅でしょうか Last night I left the Okazo household and spent the entire night. Oh! My sister and I don't have friends. Last night I left the Okazo household and spent the entire night looking for Sessana. 天野さん、久しぶり。E 組の北原です。覚えてるかな But since、uh, Sessana is hardly the type to engage in nightlife, my options as for where to search were quite limited. I was in the house of 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 Both the employees and the customer there gave me a disconcerted lurks, but it was hardly the time to be worried about that. Ah, Nite wa mada kimate nainda. Toria z ima wa shotai jo no okuri saki o kakuni stere tokoro. If I had a small handful of other places to search, I could think of proving to be dead ends. I dragged my feet and returned to the Okazo household, and like a tyrant, proclaimed it to be my forward base of operations through the course of this event. Hmm, so. 最近は個人情報の取り扱いが厳しくてさこういうのもなかなか難しいことになってる As of right now, my first priority of is compiling a list of Cessna contacts from high school, middle school and damn elementary school Damn, Haruki is really looking hard and he still hasn't found her yet Damn で、細かい連絡はいずれ A 組のクラス幹事の小木曽さんから行くと思うから Next up is information from my family. Be it close friends, neighborhood acquaintances, or any sort of relatives. I'm looking for any clue as to who Sessna might depend on right now. Oh, boy, you're not going to be able to do it. I'm going to be able to do it. This way, I can narrow down the possibilities. That being said, I can't afford to let what actually happened slip to the other side. I have to consider the Ogiso family relationship with everyone. Exactly because the Okuso family has cultivated favorable relationships with their neighbors and relatives that I can execute such a shameless plan. It must be because she grew up in such a wonderful environment that Sestina became such a wonderful girl. So, why is it that I'm causing that wonderful girl such terrible pain? Ah, Ikebe san no otaku desu ka? Watakushi, Hojo Dai Gaku Fuzoku Gakuen Douso Kai Kanji no. No, now is not the time to feel regret. I know I can't take back the things I ruined, but the least I can do now is to make the best of what's ahead of me, right? I 
wonder where Cecina's at. So she doesn't have money. She lives with her parents. This operation is like searching for a needle in a haystack. The two other people have gone out of their way to join the search, as they always do. Yo took the same approach as me, using a phone to reach out to as many people as possible, as if she were an aggressive telemarketer. She combed over the list of contacts Cessna has made in university thoroughly from A to Z. お前、マネージャーみたいだな。<笑> あるき、タレントが任命してくれたらな。まずは面接しろ。じゃな。とりあえず、アルミは人回りしたけど、切なちゃんらしき子はいなかった。まあ、似ても見つけられるかはわかんないけど。まあ、それはそうだよな。じ
I tried to nonchalantly deal with his question, but my choice of words just made the whole exchange weird. If I had said something so immature to the rest of the family, it would have been even more awkward. Let's go! Though in a strange way, I feel like it would make the Okuso family relieved to hear something like that, with the exception of her father, I guess. It's okay. He was never studying in the first place. いや、ほら、俺だって姉ちゃん心配だし、たとえ態度からしてとても<笑> どうしたなんか俺、変なこと言ったっけ今日、祝日だよ。え、建国記念の日じゃん。授業なんてやってないよ。肝心なところで抜けてるんだからな、北原さん。Dang。祝日。北原さん。That moment. Realizing my careless oversight before I could even curse myself or stamp on the ground in frustration. I just stood frozen in place for a while. A holiday is a day off for both universities and school. Normally, it would be impossible for someone to be alone in that place, which, oh, which holds so many memories for us. But today, it might just really be empty. Dang. Dude, I'm curious. Nah, fuck it. I'm not going to go back. How long did she stay in the rooftop? Did she stay in the rooftop for like three or four days? What the hell? What did she do for food? <sighs> I don't believe it. <laughs> How could I overlook such an important place? <laughs> How long were you here, Cessna? She's been here this whole time. Even though this was the first place that came to my mind, out of all the places Cessna could possibly be. If I had to answer, I'll say all of the above. Oh. How hard can you answer? Cessna is calmer than I expected. And it's probably because she has spent an entire day agonizing here by herself that her tears, troubles, and anguish are now long gone. At least that's what I can infer from her expression. Cessna is the top of the stage, a top of the very same stage from my memories. Club. Sitting center stage, she's swinging her legs back and forth, while staring at the ceiling as if trying to remember a fond memory. She closed her eyes with a nostalgic expression. And then, as they're trying to fight overwhelming emotion, she clenches her teeth. She repeats the script from three years ago, word for word. And now, three years after, she confessed her current state. Pushing her view from the ceiling to her footing and staring at her trembling feet for a moment. Nice typo. Never start here again. We roll with it. And finally, she finally turns her face to look at me. 
Her eyes are red. In response to all my other cool questions, she chose to remain silent, but now. This last sentence, I imagine, is the most likely a lie. I slowly walk onto the stage and slowly approach the center of the stage. The very same stage, but Sessina one step before. The very same stage with that amateur performer confidently put on the show for the first time in her life and attracted the undivided attention of the audience with a smile beaming across her face. The MC words carrying the weight of the ebb and flow of three years past gouge at the emotions hitting in the deepest depth of my heart like knives. Alright, I gotta pay attention. This is a reveal. Hold on, I'm paying extra attention now. Okay. She stares into the distance, as if at once reminiscing on a dear memory and glaring deep into the void. To me, her only audience, she conveys her scorching hot and yet freezing cold message. The words she never said, not because she was looking out for me, but because she wanted to hide her own weaknesses. Pretended? She said pretended to have fun. Oh shit. But today of all days, she vented all of these things. Because today is February 11th. The day when I betrayed her. I'm sure assessing the eyes still see the snow from that day. Her ears still hear the echoes of my excuses from that day. My disgusting confession, my voice calling out to Kazusa, and finally the proof of our betrayal. There shouldn't be any may even in there, because it's abnormal for her not to feel any hatred if you look at the truth of the matter. In an attempt to run away from it all, Sessina has made a decision that's tantamount to her destroying her own identity. Because all throughout that time, Sessina lived with, our, with her song. Everyone around her burdened her with the accept, expectations that she never asked for. So when it all piled up, she sang her heart out alone in the karaoke box to vent everything. She went to the root town to avoid people, and when she heard one of my one of her favorite melodies from down below, 
she spontaneously started singing along. She forgot how to sing, as well as how to smile. And finally, she forgotten how to connect with other people. Is that the truth? Or is that a lie? Did she stay in school? Her old high school? Um. 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 いちばん安心できるところにいるから。だからお願い。しばらく私を How to keep going to sleep on the floor? I don't believe this. If I want to be honest, I don't believe any of this. Haruki is going to sleep on the floor. She's sleeping over. Her. Yeah, she's going to stay in Haruki bed. No, there's no censorship needed. Haruki's sleeping on the floor. No need to censor. I don't believe. I'm fine. When I asked her if she wanted to come to my place, Cecina nodded without any hesitation. Nah, right? She didn't really have any closure. Hey, she stated the issue. But how to get in and fix the issue? If they showed an H scene, I feel like. I don't know. It depends what's in the H scene. But I feel like it's too early still. We finally got the issue. Now we gotta fix it. When I asked her if she wanted to come to my place, Cecina nodded without any hesitation. I told her to warm herself in, you know, with a shower, so she went to the bathroom without saying a word. I won't be coming home tonight either, is what she told her family. It's fine. I'm fine. This is fine. I already tucked away the picture frame and recorded a uh, DVD and especially the magazine from the uh, last time deep inside the drawer. Oh shit, that's uh, that's Kazusa. I forgot that magazine is Kazusa. Meaning there's nothing holding memories from the past three years here from now. I move everything that could possibly evoke any such memory for either of us. That's what should be fine. There shouldn't be any problem. This time, this time, Sasa and I. Nante. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Nante, huh? What's some shit, hey? No matter how hard I try to make myself think otherwise, it's obvious that this isn't fine. I feel like this is a bad rerun of what happened two months ago. We're just walking down the same path, but to make the same mistakes. Excuse me. It may be sure that Sustainer isn't rejecting me this time. If we might be able to go further than what happened during that Christmas night, we managed to greet the morning together. But it won't come about as a result of us believing in another one another. 
It won't be a refreshing morning that dispels all anguish. If we still carry the same heavy feelings that burdened us last time, there's no way our hearts could ever truly connect. We already experienced all of this for ourselves. What? But what do we hope to gain from repeating it all over again? But I made up my mind, right? I will wait for Susana. What the fuck? You zipping up, bro? Alright, maybe we might have to do this. Hold on, I didn't like that, that zipper animation. Or sound effect. Uh, and I'm not waiting for her to give up on me. I'm waiting for her to make up her mind. Yes. This is okay. It was just water effects. Uh oh. Oh shit! What song is this one? After Kazusa. After everybody. <laughs> right? We say Sensitive for last. After Koharu. After Chiaki. After, uh. Mari san. After everybody. It's finally Sensitive's turn. She's naked. Please tell me she has a towel. And this route don't count. <sighs> Get it yourself. He's seducing you. How did he seducing you? Even though the air conditioning has already warmed up the room, since the voice and her body are still shaking. It makes a bewilderment, panic, and hopelessness shown through Sesna's piercing gaze as she stared at me, but she just stood in place, unable to approach me. The Q6 version. Says in her voice, which seemed to you uh, so fleeting until a moment ago, now came back in full force, along with her rage. But the rage subsided quite quickly, replaced with an expression of bewilderment, asking me why, while peering into my eyes. Practice for the concert! Wrapped in nothing but a bath towel, Cessna is kneeling down right in front of me. Although she's covering her chest with her arms, all the curves of her body are laid bare for my eyes to see. As she closes the distance so much that we can almost feel each other's breath, Cessna slowly opens her lips in. Lips. No, how do you keep playing? Fuck! Carrying those decisive words, her warmth, her warm breath reaches my face. It's not just her breath, her lips, face, and shoulders. Her entire body is abashedly flush after the bath, and the pleasant warmth is reaching me as well. Haruki, I don't think now's the time. I think you should practice for the concert. That annoying voice and those intoxicating words. Damn it. I want to practice the concert though. As it dispelled by her touch, the sound of guitar ceased as Sessina cheerfully invaded my personal space. The hand she used to cover her chest 
are now tenderly embracing my cheeks and are pulling me closer to her face ever so gently. Can't deny it. Naturally, our shadows merge into one. So that's okay, can you tell me? But we spawn some bind session with yet another spell. It's okay, 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 it's okay. Because she's lying. If you want to ask for the truth, you don't think you're okay with yourself. You don't think you're okay with yourself. To turn my vague reaction into a definite statement, I reveal its true meaning. Okay, and now, finally, Cessna understands what my attitude means. I can't believe Cessna the way she is now. I believe that she loves me, me, and I believe that she cares about me. But I won't believe in her own words, trying to reassure her that she's ready. So nano, woman's no good. Ikusu da yo. Kochi wa sotchi yori, takusan yuki ga iru nda yo. So nna ni shou kenmei kakugo suru hitsuyou ga aru nara, ima wa ii yo. Haruki kun. That's right. She's not ready, Haruki. Because even I come to the understand that right now, Sasuke is merely trying to use me as an escape. I finally understand the reason why Cessna was able to see right through my attempt to escape back then. The more you think about the other, the easier it becomes for you to see this. And then, after casting another spell to put Cessna at ease. Let's go, Haruki! Haruki! This time he's not lying. You know why I'm not mad? I feel the same way. It's just the Arthur did a great job, bruh. The Arthur did a great job on making Kazusa so godlike. Right? I don't know what he did, but the Arthur put a spell on his viewers. He must have have. Right? With all the narration, all the reveals. And then when it's too late, when we already fell in love with Kazusa. He doesn't reveal Cessna true feelings until after you beat the game. So it's already too late to love Cessna. Because we just spent 20 plus hours loving Kazusa already. Damn. So right now, I don't want to call myself Haruki. But I know how you feel, Haruki. Cessna is always going to be our number two. Because she can never reach that number one. Sorry, Cessna. I will always love Kazusa. I also chant a curse to make Cessna feel anxious. <laughs> Cessna's flushed face turns pale in an instant. <laughs> the one name that she's trying so hard to seal away forever that she stops singing, she mutters, unaware. I knew this would happen because of what I just said. In fact, that's what I was planning for. <laughs> どれだけ頑張っても、いつまでもあなたのこと見続けてきても、それでも。だって、俺が世界で一番好きな人。ああ、いいビッチ。俺の前で楽しそうに歌う刹那だから。Damn、I got fucking baited。Fuck you、Ha
American D? She's in Europe, though. Because, for all my feelings to reach her, I knew it would have to make at least this much of an impact. This is the lowest, most cowardly word game to play. Takio taught me this method of persuasion, telling me that in order to reach that unreachable girl, I have to make an impact before telling her what I really want to say. Right now, I have to resort to such a lowly trick, but I don't mind using it as long as it works. Because But the chances of me actually pulling this off are still around 50 50. Because my target is someone truly unreachable girl who stands at the top. You know, honestly, Tomo is low key VIP, right? She's the VIP of the series. Because of Tomo, Haruki met Sasuna. Because of Tomo, Haruki fixed his relationship with Sasuna. It's all thanks to Tomo. Can't deny her that. But it's not only her body, but the bottom of her heart as well. I must make her understand this. So you are there. Some. Gome. Ima more. Then she in the hole, you sense us. Oh. But it's still too early for that now. I have to keep waiting until the time is right. Nemukatara. Beto Scatica. Choto, Rusaka Mosina Kido. Gaman Stina. Wait. Is still gonna okay I think it's safe I can use the mouse again don't tell me Sessna's gonna sing right come on Sessna got two days left three days left one hour after the practice started, Susan just sat on my bed holding her knees with her blank expression and said at me as I played the guitar. Damn, Haruki is kind of a child right now, right? I like this Haruki out of every Haruki that we saw. This is the best Haruki right now. Sessina will never judge the way I do things. And I will never judge Sessina's assertion either. I just let what she said flow by as if nothing had happened. This aimless exchange feels like it's going it's been going on forever. We're all alone tonight, but neither of us has even laid on a finger on the other as time passed on by. After another hour, Sessina opened her mouth once again. もしかして私が本当は歌いたがってるとかそんなバカみたいなこと思ってる。わかんない。今の刹那がどれだけ歌を嫌いになってるのか。大嫌いなんだよ。お相手はあるがも。サウンドオブディスティニー。俺が弾
because this is a song about memories. Because this is a song that brought the beginning to the end. Because this is a song made by Kazusa. ないあの、隣の部屋の人に迷惑だよ。隣の人、夜勤なんだ。今はいないよ。で。ファイサルプランティスン。アペイマネイバーヴィズ。イトミンワークサイトナイトエンハズウェンセザオン。サーパロミスアア
何度もラジオにかけたりして。Terrible song. Damn. ほとんど毎日流してたもんな。私が出ないって言ったら、がっかりする人、他にもいるのかなそりゃ、結構いると思う。せつなが思ってるより知名度高いんだから、あの曲。The fact that this minor song is only broadcasted locally in the university campus has actually made his listener develop a sort of familiarity with it. For the high school festival, that's s o u r c e was from my last process. Most likely, even when you include our actual concert, it's our best performance. The seminar room, the cafeteria, the store. Whenever I heard this song playing in some other corner of the campus, I feel embarrassed, nostalgic. At the same time, painful. To know is my shoulders twitching a little. <laughs> she's being ridiculous. The things she's saying are ridiculous. I'm sure she realizes it herself. That's why I shifted my attitude to a more lighter tone when I felt such an exchange, just as I bet she hoped for. Sessin't gradually becoming weaker. The brashly unresponsive attitude she showed a couple of hours ago are hidden away. And I could finally see her usually kind hearted true personality showing. She's probably calmed down a little. It's probably that、uh, I don't cause trouble for other lessons that her strict yet kind parents taught her in her childhood. That's the reason why she always thinks of others, thoughts as her own. That's why she always feels others, pain as her own. お人よしで小市民が刹那のことが好きだよ。もう。もう。嬉しくないよ。そんな好かれ方。そっか。本当に好きなんだけどな。That's the feeling Sestina holds in her own heart. Won't allow her to feel blessed. After all, as a result of her kindness, Sestina walked the path of self destruction because of me. She was betrayed by me, and yet she gave me a push from behind. And、that's why I want to cherish s u s t i n a kind heart. Why I want to cherish her small yet firm sense of responsibility. Damn, they didn't sleep. The sound of the newspaper carrier motorbike. Damn, s u s t i n a was naked the entire night. The sound of the newspaper carrier motorbike o v e r l a p with the sound of my guitar. The curtains are slowly turning white. Most likely, it's the coldest time of the day. It is kind of hard to sleep, though. Not really. I sometimes sleep with music on. It's pretty soothing. In the end, s e s t i n a kept on watching me until dawn. With neither her expression nor her attitude betraying her any fatigue, she concentrated on me. No, tell her. Don't tell her, Haruki. Just say, do whatever you want, s e s i n a That makes you happy. And then the same thing that's been troubling all this time popped up again. She says she can't sing and doesn't want to sing. And it's even that she hates singing. 
yet she's worrying about others, trying to consider how I feel, and still has to come to a conclusion. Thank you, Haruki. But I still. I can't say I dislike this kind of Sesame. So indecisive and easily swayed. Yeah, he's making a bet. I know that is painful, and I know she must want to run away. But running away anymore would be unforgivable. I find the fact that a problem of such a small scale can make her hesitate and stress her out so much somewhat enduring. That's right. That's why I'll wait. Until the day when Setsuna can smile with absolutely no sorrow weighing her down. Until the day she can forgive me. Once again. Accepting everything without forgetting anything from her ass. Until the day I can meet that defenseless Setsuna who really hum along my guitar without even realizing it once again. Dang, the 12th, February 12th, Saturday. They didn't even sleep yesterday. They stayed up all night. Oh, they finally went to sleep. He woke up. It's probably like a three or four hour nap. Cold air, breezing. <laughs> she gonna try to sing? <sighs> oh. No! I wish I never pressed the click button. I should have saved. Boo! I fucked up. <laughs>